can I help? You've been patient with me, haven't you? I suppose you deserve an answer. But you have to understand how difficult this is for me to say. With all my training, I should be able to control myself better than this. But you're not like anything I expected. You're not like any man I've ever met before. I find myself watching you when I don't mean to. I'm thinking about you when I don't want to. It isn't supposed to be like this. Every time I try to call on all my teachings to calm myself, they fail me. You have such power, such passion. I don't know if it's due to the bond between us, but I'm drawn to you. The Force is a part of you, as is your power. But that's not what attracted me to you. It's more than that. Maybe it's the bond we share. It gives us a certain intimacy. If I could, I would return to Dantooine. I need to be away from this bond of ours. I need to weaken it. I need to be anywhere but near you. But Malak must be stopped. My own feelings are nothing when compared to that. Yet I know this could affect the sake of our mission if it's not resolved. I can't let that happen. I think... I think we should have some privacy for this. Come with me. You're stronger than I am, and there's no point in telling me otherwise. You will be a great Jedi, I think. I hope. In some ways, you make me feel weak, like I'm caught up in the wake of our destiny. But at the same time, you make me feel stronger, more alive. I realize now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realize this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing and overcoming my feelings for you, I've learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear, but I felt that it was important you know our infatuation was nothing more than a result of our powerful bond. Please, don't say it like that. You make it sound like I was using you. Don't you realize how difficult this was for me? Why do you think I came to this decision? I know how hard this is for both of us. You just kept pressing forward, so I had to be the one to step up and do the right thing. You're the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if I let myself be blinded by my feelings for you? You... you mean it, don't you? But how can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I... I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. But I don't... I mean, I can't. I, Malak will... Oh, my. We shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. The Jedi are not allowed to fall in love. It was... It was a moment of weakness. When I kissed you, we shouldn't have. I'm sorry. No, I know we both wanted it, but we shouldn't have given in to our desire. We're Jedi. We can't act like this. Not now. Not while we still have to deal with Malak. I'm... I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, but it was a mistake. I have to get out of here before somebody sees us together. How can I help? We've... we've already been over this. It was a moment of weakness. A stumble brought on by unbridled passions. But my emotions are firmly in check once more. We need to stay focused on stopping Darth Malak. And I want the others to stay focused as well. I don't want them to get suspicious and start gossiping about our little encounter. So until our mission is over, we need to act with discretion. We shouldn't speak of this anymore. Not until Malak is defeated. Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me.
The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Callow's, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. Excuse me, have you seen a mechanic about? Short fellow, bald, I've been looking. Well, I'll be a Wookiee's uncle. Davin? Davin Coltress? <laughs> Jolie? Jolie Bindo? Why, you old freak. Last time I saw you, you were still wandering the galaxy in that old tug. I thought you were dead, old man. I crashed somewhere and decided to stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll just bet. Damn, old man, you look exactly the same as the last time I saw you. You pickle well. You're too kind. Not the young lad anymore yourself, I see. What are you, deaf? His name's Davin. Old friend from my wanderer days. By the by, Davin, I really should be running off. Of course, old man. Oh, w wait. I if you've been traveling in this sector, I suppose you heard about Sunry? No, why? What's there to hear? He's been picked up by the Selkath authorities on Manan for murder. That's preposterous. I know. Melora is beside herself, as you can imagine. Maybe you could help them. I'm sure Sunray would appreciate a Jedi's assistance right about now. Perhaps I will at that. It's up to my friend here, actually. I'm just tagging along. I'd appreciate that. Sunry's an old friend. I'd hate to see him hurt. Same here. Well, <laughs> it was good to see you again. Give my regards to Alora if you see her. I will. Be safe, old friend. Smilia! <laughs> Thank you.
got something on your mind, do you? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Ugh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a panther. So I am. Tell you what, when you get to be my age, you can go ahead and answer any question you like to. You have my permission. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes, Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh, yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a well. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians. But at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning. And that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Swirling force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs, but we get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands free me now i'm not answering questions blah 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 don't you know who i am krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing andor's neck i told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut i think he agreed too or this could have just been gurgling noises well, well anyway finally krat has enough of andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? Well, hey, the chances may not be great, but when one has the opportunity to see something like that twice in a lifetime... Anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! You're back! I knew you'd come through for me! I knew I could count on you! Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Grip, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. And once we've cornered the market on Teresian ale, good things will be heading my way. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Teresian ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times. Hey, don't worry, you'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Teresian ale. 
You don't know much about business, do you? It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Of course. Carth Onassi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustle? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban, though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustle's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you, are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustle anywhere. Positive. He's, um, he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what... All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. Yes?
What? Yes. Ki muli ra Ki muli ra Ki muli ra Ki muli ra 